to show you how you can make an inexpensive personalized tree skirt using felt, trim, a glue gun, and scissors. That's it. Here are your materials. So I wanted to make a really big tree skirt. So my initial felt fabric is about 32 inches long. The next step is finding the middle, which I've already folded and made a mark at the top. That's where I'm gonna cut the hole for the tree. So I want the hole for the Christmas tree to be about 13 inches. So I'm marking this six and a half. I'm gonna make my first cut here and my next cut here. So using the cuts that I've made here with my point six and a half inches down, I'm going to just use my judgment to cut a half moon shape here. So when it opens up, it'll be a full circle. So what we're gonna do now is make the guide for the opening of the tree skirt. I want the opening of my tree skirt to be 13 inches. You can make yours however big or small you'd like to, but since I'd like to make mine 13 inches, that means the radius needs to be six and a half. And I'm gonna make a guide using a ribbon and a pencil. And obviously, to make sure that you can get the tree skirt around your tree, you need to cut another opening. Voila, your tree skirt. I picked this trim because it matches my living room, but of course you can pick any kind of trim that you would like. Super easy. I'm going to use a glue gun to glue on my trim. Now that the trim is on the tree skirt, next I'm gonna decorate with different shapes of circles. Since my living room is monochromatic, I pick some monochromatic colors that match my living room, and then pops of color that match the Christmas spirit. And I just randomly placed my different shaped circles and colors on to the tree skirt. And now I'm just hot glue gunning my shapes. Easy peasy. And here's my personalized DIY tree skirt.